apple juice. Apple juice. Apple juice, double espresso with lots of milk. Rice, mac salad, pulled pork, and pepper. Okay, hello from Wandering Wanda. I'm Riel Walter. We are off to Gatwick today, which is actually not a convenient train stop to Kensington or Earl's Court because from Gatwick we have to take the train to Victoria Station. Victoria Station. From Victoria, we take I don't know what line. <coughs> From Victoria, we can take the train to Glasgow. Glas Glas. It doesn't. It doesn't go to the two. We can take the two. We can take the two to Glasgow. Glas Glasgester. Glasgow. But, but that's not handicap friendly. That's stairs. Stairs? There's no elevator? That's correct. Oh. I don't know what line goes to Earl's Court. We'll figure it out. Or we'll take a cab. Or we'll take a cab. Anyway, the reason for this trip is to meet. Oh my god, what's his name? Devin. Devin. Type for an edit. Devin I've met the boy twice, and both times he seems scared of me. So, hopefully, he's matured enough where he actually can carry on an adult conversation. That's what I'm hoping for. You can edit that out too. Why? Anyway. I don't think that needs to be edited out. Whatever. He's a, he's a kid. Hopefully, he's matured. Eat your food. So, we're at the lounge. As you can see, and we're here for about an hour, 90 minutes, 90, an hour. Every yeah, flying of the states says you wish to follow the route further, may do something during the back channel. Okay. I cannot understand the pilot. I just wonder about our seatbelt policy here in British Airways. I don't want that at all times. You'll see that you keep your seatbelts fastened, and that's just in case you meet some unexpected turbulence. And there is a little bit of turbulence. Uh, we are in an old flight, airplane. Uh, so please, because yeah, of the way the seat the, configurations uh, are. And, uh, keep nice and see that that's... Well, so shortly, um, my I'm really going to show you a video and that details safety yeah. numbers and procedures on board the 777. Do also you take a moment to uh, put your electronic over device to down get out. and uh, do watch and listen carefully. It is important Same to delete your water. regular transfers after people start to do here. different time time their configurations. Hello, so we just went to last the door to be closed on, my very, on our way very and shortly now. Wish you a very pleasant flight. And what is Walter having? Right, the overhead above us, there is none. So, all this overhead here is closed off. So, everyone here at this part of the plane has to use all of these. I don't even have one. Mine's behind me. So, they're lacking storage. There's no storage here in the front. See? No storage. They need to take this plane out of service. It's a really bad design. Whoever designed this has never flown on a plane before. We made it to Gatwick. It's our first time, actually our second time here. Yeah, we were in Gatwick and we came back from Croatia. Is that it? Yes. Okay. So, but arriving. I don't remember arriving. Not from the US. Yeah. So this is all new. So we're looking for the train station. And the sign points this direction. Where's everyone in these thick down coats? Supposed to be in the 70s. Train station. Whoa! What? Yes?
I don't get these people. You put your card on the round thing and you go through. Yeah, oh, God, these idiotic girls. And they look like they're locals. Marriott Kensington, Cromwell Road. I saw it. They stop at the line. Why? I don't know why they were all way over there. Well, we were at the front. Of the, the queue line. was over here. I know. We were in the right place. She raised. The, uh, she raised her voice anymore. I would have turned around and pushed her off. No, just ignore it. It's better. No, I mean, I feel better if I curse her off. I think she moved to the front of the line. Good. She was clearly a Brit. She had a British accent, and this woman did not know how to cue. Queuing is big here, <laughs> and I love that. We invented queuing. I love your queuing, but you know what? When that okay. bitch over there didn't know how to queue. <laughs> Who have invented? <laughs> <laughs> True. Yes. If someone's there first, they're next. Yes. That's what we did. We waited our turn. Yeah. If someone went in front of you. Three people ahead of us, they went their turn, we were next, and then she walks up and thinks she's going to come from the side. So you, our old machine. you pulled to the right spot, it was correct. And our old machine. Oh, probably yeah. in her 40s. What, and she was English? Yeah. Yes. And she, oh she knows better. She knew, she knew, she knew better. Well, <sighs> she ain't in this cabin. <laughs> Where are you coming from? Las Vegas. Oh, what brought you here? Uh -huh. Don't say the weather. The weather. <laughs> the weather. Yeah. Uh, I don't know whether you're available, but no, there ain't no weather here. We, we had 120 degrees Fahrenheit one week no ago. you come here. Well, it was it's like it, being a fridge here for you then. Hottest day on record. Really? 120 in Las Vegas. What is that in Celsius? 50? At least 50, maybe 52. Great. Crazy. We'll eat some Indian food and some Thai food and. Yeah, you can have a nice time here. Yeah. See a play. Yeah, we all have a nice time. Yes. Thank I love you. London. You might need your jacket. If you're coming from 120, you're going to need a coat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is the old Holiday Inn. It looks like it was bought out and getting renovated. And there's a construction sign. Kensington Forum Hotel. Kensington Forum Hotel. Okay. We get to see the progress. Trip after trip.
Again, this was the Holiday Inn. It's a good location. I don't know how the rooms are going to be, though. We might have to give it a try. We can, if you want. Well, I can come here by myself. We, we can be disloyal. What? We can be disloyal. Let's go use the ATM first. using the ATM actually worked. I was able to take out a hundred pounds. So Charles Schwab right now, good job. Able to get money. Last time I was here in January. January? Yeah, it was January. With our niece M, I was not able to take out nothing. No cash whatsoever. So the uncle, Tito, had no cash while I was out with the knees. So I kept on telling her every time we saw an ATM, wait, take the max out, take the max out. We have no cash. So she didn't end up, she only spent maybe a hundred pounds in cash while we were here, but I don't like not having cash. 
yeah, it's yeah. just one of those insecurities that I have regarding money that I don't like not having whatever currency you have whatever country currency you have <laughs> and Walter doesn't know where he's filming <sighs> okay we're gonna eat Indian but not this Indian this this is a new one that just opened up last in the last year Oh, that's right I did oh I just remembered like when I saw that gentleman over there I forgot to bring a cloth shopping bag I generally bring two I didn't bring any forgot <laughs> we're in Europe they don't give you bags here Okay, well, I'm going to have to buy a bag if we need it. Oh, look at that. Someone bought an entire building. We will walk on this side of the street too, I think. What's all this? Oh, rental bikes. We're on Gloucester, Gloucester Road. that building is. I never noticed that. See everyone yeah. has Now the nice thing about the cloth bags is that when they get dirty you can just throw it in the washer dryer or as opposed to the plastic ones they get moldy after the third use
I know, America. Why not with all this American stuff? Look how tacky it is. <laughs> um, it looks Italian. Look how tacky the window this pretty is. Okay, that's the Indian restaurant we go to. It's right over here across the street. It's called Memories of India on Glos Glosker Road. Glosker? Yes. And Queensgate Muse. Now, the Muse, when you see Muse, it's an alleyway where they used to keep horses so those are all horse garages I love these homes. Look at that. Beautiful. The only thing is that it's four stories. There's a basement, first floor, second floor, third floor. Oh, this one's got four. Oh dear lord, that would be the death of me. <laughs> so you can store your yarn on the fourth floor? <laughs> Got a charging station. Here's the Korean Embassy, South Korea. And here's an 
African one. Keep forgetting what it is. What is this one? Should be a sign. Shouldn't there be a sign? Where's their sign? Oh, here it is. No. Doesn't say. Someone should tell her she's not pretty. Just entered Kensington Gardens, headed towards Kensington Palace. <sighs> and I need to sit. <laughs> Okay, it's the police. So anyway, why is there a car coming down the road? <laughs> uh, uh, uh. They get to cheat. They get to cheat. Look at that. Yeah. Well, they can't get out that way. Those are fixed rails. Doesn't look like it, but there is an order of things here. People walk on the right. <laughs> Which is nice. There's some sort of system.
But then you start thinking about it, you get government. Saturday, so it's busier than usual. Yes. <clears throat> Anyone for their sailboat? No? No? No more sails. <sighs> okay, I told your mother we would send her pictures. Here we are at Kensington Palace. This is where Victoria used to live. The first one. The grandmother of all the royals in Europe. Okay, what am I doing? Photo, camera. Okay, people standing. Do you want me to take the photo? I'm good, thank you. We got you it, sure? thank you very yeah, much. Thank you. Yeah. No, no, no. That was nice. Very nice. Very nice. Cazzo, io penso che se uno fa una roba del genere, la deve fare più. I don't even know if they live there. Do they still live there? Hmm. William and Kate? I don't think they live there anymore. I think they moved into Windsor. Or um, the other palace. What's the other palace? Buckingham?
They make a lot of money. Non stop sales. Yeah. She's like, she's I love these two ladies over here on this bench. <laughs> they have a bottle of champagne and two champagne, and they're just drinking in champagne fruits. I just love them. Very classy. <laughs> Oh, this is a very steep climb. Oh, that's why I had trouble. Okay. A little mountain here. I know. <laughs> Much easier this direction. Yes. I was actually quite impressed with the, um, what, Gatwick uh -huh. immigration. They had all those lines. It was quick, easy. Less than a minute. Yeah, oh, well, for me it was. For me it was like 20, 10 seconds. I don't know what you were, why your door didn't open. I didn't like my photo. Re enter, re enter, re enter. <laughs> He's walking around in a brace and crutches. He's still getting his cardio in. <laughs> okay, we've been coming down here for decades and I've never noticed this kiosk. Brunch dinner. Mm -hmm. I didn't even tell you what they serve.
I never noticed that. Look, someone has a garden. Maybe that flag is Zambia. Zambia? It says Zambia house. Oh, Zambia house. Okay, that's Zambia. I have no clue where Zambia is. Somewhere in Africa. A fun hat. <laughs> you okay? Your knee's giving out. Ouch. I live there. You always give us the same cake. <laughs> right. Somehow. Oh, yeah, nice to see you. Thank you. <sighs> Chicken tikki masala, rice and garlic, green beans. Mm -hmm. They look like Chinese green beans. Ooh. Okay, strawberries are eight dollars for a basket, and the cherries are twenty twenty, 20 pounds a kilo. kilo. That's what ten? No, that was twelve. Twelve dollars a pound, or 
something close to that. That's ridiculous. Yeah. I, I would like some cherries, but not at that price. Pomegranate. Oh my god, pomegranates are four to four dollars. No, four pounds. Could be, could be five, That's five, five dollars. dollars. That's five dollars each. Ooh. Okay, we can't afford these prices here. Oh, here's a bakery. Go down Kensington High Street. This one has no prices. It means everything's free. Yeah. Another muse down this little alley. Look how adorable these houses are. The only thing with this is that the houses are very narrow. <laughs> They're way too narrow for me. I would hate to drive my car down that alley. You would, oh my god, the truck wouldn't even fit through that. <laughs> my car might, but I'd hate to try it. Well, we would. We were on a car here in London.
that I do not agree with. You come to a Christian country, and this is Christian. Don't try to inflict your religion to the people that live here already. It's fucking bullshit. One of the reasons the Indians assimilated so well here in England is because they were a colony, one. And two, they already spoke English. They assimilated to the culture. These fucking people that want to immigrate to a different country to get away from whatever they came from, they want to bring whatever they came from to that mother, to that country they immigrated to. That's, no. You're so freaking proud of that country that you came from, go back. in an uh, Italian restaurant. The food was The food was horrible. There's another store. There, he's not busy. Well, no, I need to my hair next to your Oh, okay. I can go there. That'll be better. Why is my fault? Because I don't like something I say to you as well. Okay, there's the Thai restaurant. That's okay. He was the attend. He was the bell bellboy. 
Oh, he the front it. desk. <laughs> oh, okay. What? You didn't recognize it. Just a Indian guy. You didn't recognize it? No. Okay. It's just some Indian guy. Oh. It's just some random Indian guy that I'm waving to. Yeah, he moves here. He waved to anybody. You know half of London. It's like San Francisco. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Armando. You can cut that part out. Okay, they got cheesecake, mixed bean salad, beef springle. Ooh, beef springles. Okay. I'm saying. We're here at the club. Orange juice. Some beef egg roll. Grapes. Cheesecake and a salad. Salad. Oh, we got water. Filled up our water so we can 